So, imagine you work as a city assessor in your city. You get home after a long day at work. You walk into the front door of your house and get a notification on your phone. It's from Facebook. A message from someone you don't know. You wonder who it is and you look at the message. And this unknown person asks you, Is there any reason you'd be walking around taking pictures of people's homes? Well, today we will be looking over this case that happened to a fellow Reddit user. This is his story. About 11 months ago, a post was made to the subreddit r slash legal advice. The post was made by a fellow redditor named Slumped by God. The title is as follows. An off-duty police officer found my information using my license plate, then proceeded to hunt me down on Facebook. This is illegal, right? The following post reads, So I work for the city assessor, taking photographs of homes strictly for property records. To preface the situation, the homeowners received a letter in the mail mid-October stating that someone will be on your property taking two photographs of the exterior of this house. They will knock or ring the doorbell first, and if there is no answer, then proceed to take photographs. If the homeowner had any problems, they would call. Anyways, that leads us to today when I received a message through Facebook from a stranger asking, Is there any reason you would be walking around taking pictures of homes? Immediately I was shocked and also concerned because I had no idea who this was and how they even found my name. I told them I worked for the city and gave them a number to call if they had any issues, also stating that I am uncomfortable with them reaching out to me in this way and that they should have contacted the authorities first before hunting me down on Facebook. I am guessing a neighbor got my license plate and told them that I was there taking photographs of their house. Anyways, I did some digging and found out that they are a police officer from a district near where I live. I told my friends about this and one of them told me that it is very illegal. Is this correct? Also, what should I do even about this? To me, the way they reached out is very intimidating and unprofessional and just really not okay. Any info would help. Thank you. Edit. I live in the US, Wisconsin, specifically. A fellow Redditor decided to chime in and said, Former police officer, since this was the officer's private home and this was not police business, he was not legally allowed to run your plates and contact you. Serious violation of the rules. Someone replied to him and said, I used to dispatch 911 and I agree with this. Police departments have a huge amount of information available to them and there are very strict rules about what they can search. This is absolutely not okay. I would contact the county prosecutor's office now. A comment that stood out to me on this post was made by a fellow Redditor named Gaff Ninja. He says, reach out to the agency and inquire about their social media general orders if they do exist. Odds are this is against department policy because typically all communications need to be through a department channel, i.e. recordings, email, telephone. There is a proper record in case any of it is needed for court. Often using personal social media or cell phones is against department orders and also opens up their personal media and devices to discovery if a case they are working on goes to court since it is considered part of the evidence. Additionally, even if it isn't illegal, it is quite unethical in this context. Asking to speak with a sergeant or someone else in command of the department about this is an avenue for you, since as I stated above there are orders likely against this avenue of communication for a plethora of legal reasons, assuming that he ran your plates while on duty and in reference to a call that the department receive, which would make him accessing your vehicle information permitted in that event. I should also note that if they are an accredited agency, such as via CALEA, they should have general orders that include communications policies such as social media and the use. A bunch of other Redditors chimed in giving their opinions, some saying the officer was in his rights to do what he did, and some saying it was very unprofessional and is illegal to run someone's background without an actual investigation. Now, personally I would agree that what this police officer did is illegal and unethical. It doesn't make any sense as to why the police officer would illegally use resources from the department to find the personal records of Slumped by God and contact him through Facebook and not contact him officially. So you're probably wondering at this point, what's the follow-up to this? That's where this gets... interesting. The original OP of the post, Slumped by God, wouldn't reply to anyone under his main account. He would only reply to people under his alt, called Slumped by God V2, and his first comment was, well, the person who contacted explicitly stated that it was their home I was taking pictures of. Someone replied, Is this your regular account? He didn't respond. Now, the original OP could have any reason as to why using an alt account to reply to people and not his main account, so I'm not going to fault him for this, but... 
but then some weeks later he finally responded. He then said, I forgot to add that my employer reached out to the city police department and told them what I would be doing so there wouldn't be any issues. I actually just got off the phone with an officer from the department because of a complaint. They told me that the police does know that I am out there and there is no issue whatsoever. So the local police department knows why I am there and what I am doing. This particular individual works for a completely different department in a completely different area. I apologize for not providing that little tidbit of info, but I appreciate your comment nonetheless. So, here's what's weird. This was his last post on his main account. There could be any reason for this, positive or negative. This could all have been a fabricated story, which personally I highly doubt, considering the replies he gave on his second account to commenters and how detailed and informative they were. But the internet is a mysterious place, with people who will literally say anything for any reason. This all could have been real, and maybe something might have happened to him. Slumped by God never gave an update as to what happened with his main or second account regarding with what happened to the police officer. Regardless, I hope he's okay and this police officer isn't going to continue to do what he's doing and lets him continue his job as a city assessor. Anyway, that'll be all for today. I hope you all enjoy this breakdown of this reddit post and consider subscribing and liking to see more content like this. As always, have a good day.